talk about my body, I'm not going to, I'm not going to stay. I'm going to leave if I hear you say one more thing about my body. Sorry. Alright, I'm going to do the golden bubble blood. Class is community member! No, I'm not asking for love. I'm asking for something to do. I'm not asking for any of that. You're screaming on the boardwalk. That's a call to love. No. No. You're, lo you're not There's shy at all. Friends, he's not shy. No. Wants love and care. No. Look how lovable he is. No. That's why he's laying there. No. You lie and scream. And I hear you and it sounds like a dream. And I want to know, you to know that you are lovable. And of course you feel how you feel. And for whatever reason that you scream, I say you are lovable. Do you have any injuries? Yeah. Besides your heart? <laughs> Take a deep breath. Is it okay to stand on you? With the intention of love and heal. With the intention of love and heal. You are lovable. I see you. Your beautiful cries as you lay on this lament. It's pitiful and beautiful. And we've all been that low. We've all been that low. Power of my love, I send love through your feet. Your toes begin to uncurl and flare out. You are lovable. The cadence of your heart returns to a musical beat, the drummer in the symphony of all of your organs, sending love to the tummy so that your digestive system can be true and strong. Beautiful, perfect coherency through gut, through chest, and head. Deep cleansing breaths. In your mind's eye, you could see the air sacs expand. Friend, you are lying on the boardwalk and you are screaming in front of the elder home. You are lovable. You are a superhero and you've forgotten because you've been mistreated for so long. No, and it is sorry. more care and love and generosity no, I'm just that sorry. is needed. See, I don't get mistreated at all. Community members! I don't get mistreated at all. I'll do a wonderful dance. Really Hi, goddess. He's feeling better now. So, if I wanted to be conscious and creative, I could just put a bottle of water down there and then he would leave and get the water. But then I wouldn't be giving my friend compassion and care that he might be truly needing right now. Army guy, is he causing trouble? Superhero friend. Peyton, is that guy causing trouble? compassionate enforcer and I use the most amount of love and the least amount of force to get stuff done and I don't think that there needs to be an eviction and as you can see they bulldozed the garden here and then the other friend destroyed the garden and he came back just like he promised and got the rest of it so I just got permission from the first manager of the building and he's about to go ask his boss and then I have and flowers. So, where are you going to plant them? I'm going to do new gardens all the time and uh, we're smart so what we're doing we sprouted thousands of babies so we're planting big ones that we buy then we're getting seeds from LA Seed Library, Venice High School, Kiss the Ground, getting compost, we're getting worms, we're going to all different places. We're sprouting our own seeds. We're getting plants from everywhere. And not just the market economy, but we want 
So we're like this garden, we put tons of little baby sprouts. So that garden's been demolished, it'll grow on its own. And when a garden gets demolished from now on, we're gonna leave it and go to a next space and create a garden somewhere new. That way you could see the massacre. <laughs> that way everyone can see the destruction. Humans aren't used to seeing food. Food is beautiful. Humans, stop the speciesism. It's time to plan food. Why, I will tell you, are you tired of homelessness? Well, our friends will be more nourished if there's food and there will be less mental illness, hyaluronic And if you have water, it brings restoration and renewal and it's super nourishing. What do you think about that? Yes, it's true. And if there's clean bodies of water, we don't remember what that's like, but when we can hear, whoosh, Ah, ah, it makes us want to sing with delight. And if human friends who live outside cannot find water and food, it is no surprise why our other friends outside die. Coyotes and birds and squirrels and stuff. And the mice that don't die in the glue traps. So, if you want to solve homelessness, give them a beautiful plant of food to plant and ask them to take care of it because then you'll have caretakers instead of messmakers and it'll be beautiful and wonderful. It'll be a Care Bear stare. Hey, where did you get that banana plant? Uh, Home Depot. One of my kings took me. I have never ending kings. Are they expensive? That one was, I think, 39. And what's the the olive tree was 24. The papaya tree was 125. Where is that tree now? That got bulldozed. <laughs> and the pineapple plants were 19. Um, orchids. Like, we also got tons of seeds. And then we also got a lot of stuff for free. And... How are you raising the funds? I mean, that's expensive. Um, well, some of it we don't pay for and other stuff, um, just like I do free shamanic healing here. If I want to, you can't find me online because I took my advertisement down. But I do sometimes commodify my energy and I charge a lot of money. So for 250 bucks, if I want, because there's a lot of pervy perverts that want to hire me. So if my body leans in and melts, I'm like, yes, I'll do a healing for you. Happens very rare. <laughs> I'm going, I'm not going to say it, I'm going to sing it. There was one sweet, beautiful yogi Disney princess. She believed in the power of the ganja. And this Disney princess was a princess of Venice Beach, the weed capital. And she knew it from being out on the streets that if you plant the ganja everywhere, you'll be meeting the needs. So she asked her friend in there, would it be okay to plant the weed plants here? And he said, yeah. So, I hope he comes out so you can talk to him. Do you see how there's soil here? Sand has blown over it, but do you see that? The first garden consisted of 60 top shelf hybrid called Blue Zittles marijuana plant. Very high potency, delicious bud. And the flower was going to grow right there. But he came out after giving permission and was like shocked and was like, but I didn't think you'd really do it. So, he asked me to move the plants. So I did. I planted them there and there and there. But they died, because you gotta plant them in February. That was the first garden I ever did. Yes, you are lovable. <laughs> He's a
he needs empathy and he doesn't want to hurt anyone, but he's upset and he wants water. Who are you talking to? I'm talking about the friend there. Oh, okay. Nobody called 911. Oh, okay. I'm just driving through. Good to see you. Why are you always so serious? I'm going to send you love. No, he wants water. Water? And I think he wants empathy. Yeah. Well, I don't have water, but if you want to ask one of the restaurants if you have to water, feel free to do so, okay? Okay, hi guys. Have a good day. Let me know how to support. Hey guys. Hold on, back up a little bit. By the way, when you, like, said that stuff the other day, I was just pretending, I was Peter Pan on that guy. Peter Pan's when you alchemize violence to play. Probably talk to the wrong person. So then you sword fight. So if someone has a newspaper, you go, Ungar! <laughs> Have a good day, okay? Love you, goddess. I see a smile! I see a smile! I see a smile! Thank you for the golden smile. Good job, guys.